Hey guys, Jeff here with the Common Sense Camper. Hey, I thought I would share something with you. I found this in my closet. I was cleaning out my foyer closet because I have way too many coats and jackets and my wife had had enough. She's like, alright, you gotta clean those out. And I found this. Uh, this is called a runner and it's spelled R-U-N-N-U-R. I bought this a couple years ago and I think the purpose of this was uh, we were going on a trip and I wanted something that I could just put my uh, basic essentials in and not have a bunch of stuff in my pockets and for some reason I put it away and I just I, I haven't used it uh, since and so I found this and I forgot I even had it and I, I thought to myself this would not be a bad setup an alternative to a belt kit for bushcrafting and as you guys know I, I typically will carry something like this around my waist, you know, I'll have my knife, my uh, vodka saw will go on there, and I usually have like a dump pouch, some type of, of wallet or pouch to put my gear in. Uh, a lot of times I will use one of these, one of the Rothko pouches. And But there are times when I have that belt kit on and it does uh, kind of get in the way, especially when you're sitting down or if you want to rest and, you know, that thing's... You have to put it on kind of tight to keep it around your waist, and sometimes it is uh, uncomfortable when you're when you're seated, or if you're like kind of in a squatting position. And I've bought sling bags before, and they just don't work for me because most of them are way too big. I wish someone would make a sling bag that was maybe a little larger than than that. And for me, the ultimate carry is a fanny pack however let's be real fanny packs are not cool it doesn't matter if it's a waist pack you know a maxpedition which i have a video of that octa maxpedition very tactical looking very cool for fishing and hunting and hiking and camping but for other things it's just it's not cool it's a fanny pack and it doesn't matter what you do to it you're wearing it around your waist it has a pouch integrated with the belt it's a fanny pack so I came down here tonight and I said well let's see what I can actually get in this and would it would it replace a, a, a belt kit like this so what I thought I would do is share with you what I was able to get into this uh, this has two pouches up front and so I have my phone in there that's an iPhone 4 with a pretty thick heavy duty case so uh, it fits in there nice and snug no problem at all uh, that would also fit an Altoids 10 then down here I have an actual Altoids 10 which is there that's my fire starting kit so I have that in there in this zipper pocket I have my Azula 2 knife and my fire steel. Now if you had a larger fire steel I think this would be a good spot for it. This is actually designed to put pens and pencils into. Uh, the only problem is with a smaller ferro rod when you turn this thing around to get the other stuff that I, I had this actually fell out. So I've got the fire steel in there with the Azula 2 knife Uh, up here is an ID carrier which you could put like a fishing license, hunting license, something like that in there. It has a D ring here so you could actually hang it up and I'll show you here in a, in a second what it looks like off. So that would be the, the front and then on the inside of this there's a kind of a hidden elastic pouch so in there I have my Baca saw. Now for replacement of a belt carry typically when I'm at camp I'm not out you know foraging or uh, scouting I'm, I'm typically not going to have this on my belt kit I would typically take it off but it will fit inside of this this pouch in the back it's kind of a hidden pouch and then here, which is designed for a water bottle, I have one of those flask type 
containers for water so I have a container and this actually has two elastic bands it has one here and one here which I think is for just a standard water bottle that will help hold it in uh, this won't fit under the smaller one but it will fit in the larger one it was almost like it was designed for that bottle I mean it's a perfect fit in this reflective pocket here I have a roll of bank line now what I would probably replace that with is something like that where I've wrapped up the cordage and my Gorilla Tape now unfortunately this one is about a quarter inch too long but I could easily make one that's a little shorter and it would fit in this reflective pouch but for demonstration purposes I just threw the the bank line in there and then in this pocket here which is actually designed for eyeglasses it's it kinda has a like a plastic rigid flap right here to protect your glasses I put my headlamp so I thought I would share this because I, now I haven't actually had this out yet in you know in a bushcraft or uh, camping outing but I'm going to take it next time and with the exception of running in this thing which is kind of funny considering it's called the runner I don't know that I would run in this because this thing's probably going to move around a lot but for uh, just ease of getting things out of your pockets or out from around your waist uh, especially for you guys and girls that uh, can still carry sometimes that waist pack can get in the way and it, and it does kind of present issues and I typically wear two belts I'll wear a belt for my pants and then I'll have the belt for my belt kit and I'll have my concealed carry and it's a lot of stuff on the waist there's a lot of stuff going on and you know I obviously don't have a six-pack stomach so the belly's hanging over things and getting jabbed and it's just sometimes it's it, it's just not comfortable and it is kind of a pain to be taking the belt on and off uh, as you're doing your activities around your camp whereas this is very simple on and off and like I said it has a d-ring so you can hang that up so uh, this also comes with a nice carabiner here if you wanted to hang your keys on there and when I got this out when I found this in the closet the first person I thought of was eat carbs because I think he would really really geek out on this setup because then he could hang all his keys and stuff off of this instead of his belt and still be able to put all of his gear into this pack and this is basically to me this is a, a gear slinger type bag without the big huge bag and all the weight all on one shoulder uh, even with this water bottle filled up I, th I think this is going to be very comfortable to use and again very easy on and off uh, they do have a newer one I checked out their website these are on about forty five dollars these are very well made these are VanQuest and Maxpedition quality the stitching the zippers everything on this is is top notch uh, very well made uh, it is definitely worth forty five dollars they have a newer one that's actually adjustable in hindsight this is a size three which I think is for medium large and I probably should have gotten a size four or five because this one does not ride as nicely as the pictures on the website uh, this this should ride just a little lower so you don't have this puckering up here or down here uh, but nonetheless they have a new one that's actually adjustable and I believe it'll fit the newer iPhones. so uh, guys check this thing out and uh, I I think this is this might replace my belt kit but we'll find out I'm gonna take it out and I'll do a follow-up review on it this is Jeff with the Commonsense Camper camping out